It creates water. Any one of us could already be infected. And if you take that back to Earth, on drop. They said I was gonna die. They said he will knock four times, and I think I know what that means, and it doesn't mean right here, right now. Because I don't hear anyone knocking, do you? It's one of the last shows to feature David Tennant as the Doctor before handing over to Matt Smith, and our entertainment reporter Colin Patterson is at the screening. Hi, Colin. Hello, yep, there's a special screening of David Tennant's third last episode as Doctor Who this morning. You said it was called The Waters of Mars, and he joins us now live on Five Live. Good morning to you. Good morning, it's lovely to be here. It's exactly a year yesterday since you announced you were quitting as Doctor Who. What are the chances and of that? Here you are, still appearing in episodes, which we're very pleased about. Yeah. But r remind listeners of where we are in the whole departure of David Tennant. This is the beginning of the end. This, this story goes out November 15th. And this kind of uh, this sets up the, the the end of the Tenth Doctor. So we'll then have a we'll then have a two-parter uh, over Christmas, which will be my farewell. I know it's taken more than a year from announcing to actually leaving, but uh, yes, this is it. This is the big end. It's, it's quite drawn out, isn't yeah, it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. But it's a big story to tell. You see, N never was it more uh, appropriate of the word epic. A year on, how do you look back on the decision to quit? Well, to be honest, I'd been I, I you know I'd been sweating over that decision for a long time even before we announced it so I've been I've known that this was the plan for a long time now um, and I'm just really chuffed that we get to go out on this incredible exciting story it would have been a terrible anticlimax if, if these final episodes had been a bit of a damn squib but I think uh, I'm really just, I'm just really thrilled with the, 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 the final stories we've got to tell. We've just seen that hour-long episode. Yeah. Now, how much can you give away? Because I know you can be quite... Yes, secretive. well, what can I tell you? It's set on Mars. The title probably gets that away. Um, and uh, it's, it's a very tense one. It's got quite a few spooks and spirit scares in it. Um, but it's... Uh, it's, it's a, it, it, something happens to the Doctor that means his his doom is is set really the bell is tolling and uh, there's no going back from the events of this story he yeah, goes through quite a lot of mental torment yeah. in this episode yeah yes um, and it's it's funny watching it with an audience you suddenly realize it's a long time before we, we, we're so used to the doctor taking charge and the doctor um always being on top of things and and uh, and always knowing the way out of a situation and in this story he doesn't and it's a uh, uh, it, it's a different place for the Doctor to be and a different place, I think, for the audience. I also associate Doctor Who with Saturday night. Yes. This has gone on a Sunday. It's going on a Sunday. I know. Are you running scared of X Factor? Is the, isn't it on a Sunday? Oh, it's on both, actually, isn't oh, it? Well, I don't, know. I don't know why we're on a Sunday. But um, I think it's, well, it's a special, so it's a one-off. It can go wherever, you know. Uh, I think it's... I, I'm sure great equations have been worked out. There will be algebra as to why we're on Sunday. But um, it's a fantastic slot. It's a Sunday night at 7 o'clock. Uh, wintry evening, it's perfect. That's a heck of a slot. Yeah. yeah. You filmed your last episode uh, in yes. April yeah. as the Doctor. What do you remember about that last day? Well, the last day was actually on the Sarah Jane Adventures, which is on this afternoon, faithful listeners, at 4.35. Um, uh, because the Doctor crops up in, in, in the spin-off show, the children's show that, that, that gets made down in Cardiff next door. Uh, so my last day was actually on that. Uh, my last day on Doctor Who itself was typically sort of unmomentous. I was hanging on a wire on some green screen. Uh, it, these things are always filmed out of sequence. And that was probably best because, to be honest, it was quite emotional, it was sad, and there were many moments where myself and the people, we've all been working together for four years on this show. Um, most of the crew have been the same throughout. Uh, so there were many emotional moments and many, uh, many sayings of goodbyes. Uh, so it was probably best for all concerned that the last day, uh, the scenes weren't too appropriate to saying goodbye, just to keep us all um, from crying ourselves to death. What was your farewell gift? Were you given anything? A, a carriage clock? A cake? I do now have my own sonic screwdriver. I do. Uh, and uh, I'm very proud of it. Uh, it's only because they don't need it anymore. I think they've got a new one now. But uh, uh, yes, I do. And, and, and the, the, the props department made me a very beautiful box to keep it in. So that's something I will treasure forever. So this was the third last episode, the two Christmas to go. Obviously, there must be things that you were desperate to do as Doctor Who. And these were your last chances to do yeah. them. What like what? What have you made sure? we get in before you go oh that's not down to me that's down to Russell Lee Davis I don't tell him what to do I mean that would be mental he's uh, he's the greatest 
writer on television. So I, I did, my, my favourite bit was sitting back and waiting for the script to come in and then seeing what happens next and where it goes next. And, and uh, he, he, didn't, he didn't disappoint. I, was, I suppose I was slightly nervous thinking, these final scripts better be special. They better feel appropriate and, and, and epic and final. And uh, Where did you read them? I read them in my trailer backstage when we were filming the one before. Any tears? One or two, I'll confess. One or two, yeah. I was speaking to Russell T. Davis, obviously the boss of the show there, yeah. and, and he's bowed out at the same time as you. Yeah. He was saying he's gone to Hollywood. I know. You've been to his house. Where, where does he live? He lives in Venice, Venice Beach. I'm not telling you any more than that. You know, I don't want, I don't want to be responsible for people standing outside his door. But yeah, no, it's lovely. It's lovely near the beach. And he's trying to make it as um, in script writing out there for BBC Worldwide. I, he's developing a range of stuff, yeah. As far as I know, he didn't tell me anything, but I, 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 it, he, that's what he's doing, yes. And he's, uh, I guess he's, you, BBC Worldwide have an office out there, and Julie Gardner, uh, our executive producer on Doctor Who, now works there for them, um, along with Jane Tranter, who was the head of drama uh, whilst we were making Doctor Who. So. Is Hollywood something that appeals to you? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't not, but it sort of depends on what one would do out there, really, you know. Uh, I mean, it's very warm, isn't it? But uh, So when you've been out there, was it just for pleasure or were you taking meetings, as they say? Oh, I've done a bit of both. But it's a funny old place and you can't really tell entirely what's true out there. But it's, you know, I've had a very nice time. Because it is a strange time for actors at the moment. There's less drama being there commissioned than there was. There I mean, when you made your decision to leave Doctor Who and then when it actually did come to the end, things had changed. There is less work out there. I mean, yeah. how, how do you find the whole process? Um, uh, well, I mean, it's never easy for I, I mean, actors are always chasing work. So uh, you're kind of used to the sense that, uh, you, you know, you're kind of trying to capture water, I suppose. Uh, I... It's, it is tougher, clearly. There are less jobs around. Um, there's less being made, and, uh, and that has a trickle-down effect, so that, you know, the, the, the big movie stars are appearing on TV, and the TV stars are uh, pushed out there. So it's a... I, I, it is different, but I think... Eventually there's a vacuum, and I think... It, it, because there's always a need for stories to be told, and people are always looking for... Uh, a means of escape and looking for entertainment and looking for drama. So it, it might be, there, there, there might be a bit of a, a, a downturn, but I, uh, like I say, I think that creates a vacuum which nature abhors, as we know, and I think uh, there will always be st stuff to fill it. So what are you moving into then? Do you know, I don't quite know, and I don't like to jinx anything until it's signed and sealed. Because there's some amazing projects you mentioned. John Landis, the man who directed Thriller, came out at a convention and said that he was getting you and Simon Pegg to play Burke and Hare, the grave robbers. Yes. Like I say, I don't like to jinx anything before it's uh, signed and sealed. But I've got... Uh, Glorious 39 is a film that I've already shot, which is about to come out. And uh, I'm in St Trinian's 2, which comes out at Christmas. So I'm about to be wrapped up here. You, you mentioned Christmas. That is the last Doctor Who that's, episodes. That's Where will you be watching them then? I don't actually know what I'm doing for Christmas yet. That's a debate that has to be had with uh, various family members and so on. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do, but uh, I, I'm, I'm sure I'll be with hopefully some family and friends. That's, the, that's, that's how everyone should spend Christmas, right? David Tennant, thank you very much for joining us in Five Live. You can be seen at 4, 4, 4 35. 4 35 this afternoon, yes. On the Sarah Jane Chronicles, and then The Waters of Mars goes out on Sunday the 15th. Sunday the 15th. Before, that's before the X Factor, you're okay. Is it? Is uh, it? They're 8 o'clock. <laughs> okay, they'll change it now. <laughs>